The news you need right now. I just remembered I gotta go. I gotta return a book. <laughs> no, I think I have, a, I have a few out myself. <laughs> <laughs> Before the cops show up. Really? Well, while the experts in Washington are trying to figure out how to dig us out of this recession, a local woman has taken the matter into her own hands, literally, and created her own economic engine that is now churning out jobs. As Stephen Cooper reports, it's a story about a labor and love. Aranza Zamora has always wanted to be a doll maker. She tried off and on for years, but the money was never there to follow her dream. That is, until her 24-year-old son Ivan offered her everything he had. And he told me, Mom, why you don't come back and do the dolls and I help you? I will be your investor. With her son's money, she was soon producing dolls and selling them at kiosks in local malls. When he said that he will do the business with me, I think he was the only person in the moment that believed in me. But then, before Ivan reached the age of 25, tragedy struck. Unexpectedly, uh, he had a heart attack and he died. The grief, of course, brings tears to her eyes, but also makes her more resolved to carry on. When I'm doing this, and I almost say I will do it this in his memory. A few years after Ivan's death, another kind of love walked into her life. The love of a man who would help her turn this into a business. Adorable Kinders, a made in America business that would bring joy to children everywhere. The couple married in 2005. Definitely a love story. This Winter Springs factory is the result of that love story. But it's no ordinary local business. The couple decided that everything that goes into making these dolls would be produced here. It's true that it would be easier and cheaper to make these dolls overseas. Oh, right? Right. absolutely. We get calls all the time from, from foreign entities that wanted would love to do these dolls for, you know, a, a penny compared to our dollar. In fact, 90% of dolls purchased in the U.S. are made overseas. 80% of them come from China. That just won't do for this company. What this couple can't make here, they outsource to places like Orlando, where two outside printing companies do the silk screening, and places like South Carolina, where the doll's hair is made, and then up to Pennsylvania and Maryland, where the doll's clothing is made. The net result is an American-made product creating jobs for American workers, and in the case of one factory up north, bringing Americans back to work. They've been able to rehire people that were laid off or let go and keep their doors open. The dolls are fully assembled in Winter Springs. Also employed their software workers who maintain an internet site where children can register their dolls and send them through a virtual school. An educational toy, Aranza says, is what Ivan would have wanted. To be sure, there's a doll named after him. How much of this keeps you connected to your son? Everything. Who knew these rag dolls had such a story? In Winter Springs alone, the company says it will be hiring at least 40 more workers. You can buy the dolls online or at the showroom. Go to our website, clickorlando.com, for more information. I'm consumer editor Stephen Cooper, Local 6. Those are so cute. And I have a feeling I have someone in my house who might like one of those little kinder dolls. And Christmas is coming up. Yeah. And just that they can re resist the pressure and the profits of not making them somewhere else. Doing it in China? Yeah, cheaper. All right. A lot cheaper. A surprising new find tonight on the moon. The next lunar travelers will...